Okay, we've been discussing uh, cartridge fuses, and uh, this is just another form of a cartridge fuse. Now, cartridge fuse can come as a standard fuse. We've talked about that before. It's just a single element fuse. If it overdraws, it blows. Uh, they can be done with a dual element fuse that will blow if there's very excessive current. Uh, however, if the current is only two to five times what the rated load is, then they will not blow unless the load is on for a period of time. I don't know what the times are, but they're motor load uh, fuses. And motor load fuse, fuse has to operate with a dual element. If you put a single element fuse in there, it will probably nuisance trip. Or nuisance blow and so you use a dual element fuse now one of the problems with these uh, any of the cartridge fuses dual element or not dual element is telling if they're broken well they got a window and I'm going to show you this window close up there we go now you can see through that little window, now this is an FLNR60ID, uh, which means it's a time delay fuse, or dual element fuse, and it has a little window. Now how you tell if it's blown is that you can't see anything through the window. If the plastic window is completely obscured, and that's usually by a spark inside, then it's blown and you have to throw it away. Uh, there are fuses that uh, uh, actually will show you what's wrong. I mean the little glass fuses do it, but uh, uh, these cartridge fuses have it. Well this one does. So uh, without a meter you can tell. And that's the window fuse.